So obviously, congratulations on your launch, which was like a week and a half ago, about a week and a half. It was like uh, one, two Fridays ago, I think, um, that you yeah. launched your album. And then obviously uh, on your debut show, which was uh, live last Saturday, um, I couldn't miss it. Like it was kind of late, but then I knew I, I, I had oh. to stay up. And then, oh, <laughs> it was so good. And I watched um, every single minute of it. And ah! I think... And, and and I was so amazed because I was looking at the count of the people um, watching live. I think at some point it hit almost 700 or it actually went past 700 at some point. And that's kind of crazy because like it's like having your de debut show and then you're like headlining your own show with like 700 people, which was so cool. <laughs> so, well, congratulations. Yeah. First of all, yeah. congratulations for, you know, that that successful show. And um, um and, you know, so the question I wanted to ask was that how did it feel? I mean, obviously, because you've played with the crowd before. And how did it feel for you that night to be playing live, but then to a streaming audience instead like of like a live audience in front of you? Yeah, um, I was I was nervous. Like, first, I thought maybe I will not be that nervous. So, uh, but but I was <laughs> because, but you know, mentally I knew that people are watching. I didn't know how many people were watching, but it doesn't matter if it would be three people watching or or five hundred or whatever. It it doesn't matter. You just make a good show, right? And I felt adrenaline. Uh, also, it was a bit stressy before the show, everything. So I had to calm down and breathe. And um, yeah, it it was different because no eye contact of course <laughs> no mm -hmm. people but we had a great crew we had um front of house and the light uh, crew they were so cool because they were the only people there and they were doing you know <laughs> going like this so at least a little bit of energy was there <laughs> and you know just just knowing that people are actually watching at the moment gives you an adrenaline kick mm -hmm. and of course having fun with the guys um for like f for the very first time for the world you know um and to play these songs for the very first time now how we how how we did it oh my phone my phone all right Sorry. go uh, ahead yeah i mean if you have to <laughs> you have to pick it up you can oh, go no, ahead no, no, no. No, no, I, I just, no, 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 I just didn't put it uh, silent. Um, oh, yes. Sorry about that. Um, no problem. No, um, I didn't want to say, yeah. So, I mean, we played these songs the very first time, how they were on, how they are on the album. And this is a special moment, right? So, of course, you're also nervous. Will everything work out and so on? And, uh, yeah, no, it, it was so much fun. Um, I'm very happy how everything went. Um yeah, I cannot wait to play again. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, imagine if you knew that, you know, 700 people were watching, you know, would that have like made a difference in your energy? Yeah. Um, would that Yeah, have... you know, I mean, of course it gives you an extra kick to know that I mean, I knew it afterwards how many people were watching and so many people the support that we got from the very beginning on when we started the crowdfunding and then a step further with the single and so on and so on it's just amazing this community that we have now our illumishate community family it's just it's already like so supportive and positive and warm and loving i i this is what I always wanted and now now we build it up and I'm so so happy for this um yeah yeah I'm very happy <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people are very happy with it as well and it's an amazing album um and yeah like it's uh your voice um I was just joking uh with uh Jonas the other day uh that you know when I first heard the album I was like I was cooking, you know, so I was listening to it while I was cooking and then my mom was with me. I was like, and then I was like, this girl can actually sing. And then my mom actually hates like it when I play any sort of heavy music in the house, yeah. but then she really yeah. enjoyed your music. So that yeah. was like so nice. It was oh, so nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is 
so nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because like, oh. I think there's like a good balance between like uh, um, ballads and heavier songs. And then obviously you can also hear a bit of that pop influence in, in, in your singing as well. So, uh, so there's like a nice combination that you know it's kind of pleasing to a lot of people you know whether they like metal or not so it's a it's a great album it's, a, it's yes, really thank it's you really so cool. much thank you yeah i think um also singing wise um i could show some different sides now because what i enjoy with elvati is giving this folky touch uh, to the to the vocals especially when singing in gaulish um and singing more the folky songs um and now here i could sing more poppy sometimes you know or some more rock maybe and mm -hmm. and so on so i really enjoy to like discover different sites vo voice wise as well so um yeah it's a lot of fun how did you enjoy the show by the way <laughs> oh i did like uh so i was i was obviously tired so i had my screen on my bed and i was like lying down i was like watching i mean i thought i would fall asleep but then you know thankfully i didn't so ah, I <laughs> yeah because i was i was i was so tired that day because it was um I, you guys played at eight so it was two 8 p.m. so it was 2 a.m. my time and then it was like oh, a long day so then hey, that's honored. thank you so much for uh, <laughs> no it was totally worth it so uh, it was it was uh, an amazing show because like obviously at 2 a.m. I had the this had a big decision to make like you know should I sleep before the show but if I sleep I might not wake up and then so that in the end I decided not to sleep and then like just to watch the show and then like oh um but it was a great, great, great show. Wow. So, so thanks hey, to thank you guys. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. well, yeah, it was, it, I really, really had a lot of fun. I mean, so, to a certain extent, I was sad I couldn't be there. Uh, if, mm. So, you know, obviously I look forward to seeing you guys live next time. Yes, yeah, I am also looking forward to actually play it, uh, not like a ghost concert, but with actual audience in the room. <laughs> oh. Or, uh, yeah, yeah I, I think every, I think I can speak probably fr <laughs> from every musician, like we are just looking forward to finally play again, <laughs> yeah, whenever sure. it will be I'm possible. Sure. Yeah, I'm hopefully yeah. soon, hopefully soon, actually, no one knows. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah we will see but at least um you know that i'm happy that we could find this solution because we wanted to play in zurich in another club and um it, everything was planned but then we were like wow okay of course it's it's not happening so and we were so happy that we found this opportunity that we got this opportunity to still play this for everybody um yeah, so this is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we are very happy, thankful to the club as well that he gave us this uh, opportunity and that so many people were watching. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, know, you deserve yeah. you deserve all the love you receive. So, um, <laughs> so it's believable. It's believable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Well, speaking of Illumi Shade, um, you mentioned that it it's like an assignment and a project for you. So can you share, I mean, if it's possible, can you share what like the brief was in terms of like the assignment brief and, you know, did this project actually turn out the way you envisioned it to turn out? Yeah. Um, yeah, as I mentioned before, everything is um, started because I had to do the master degree, right, at school. And actually it was very good uh, that I had to do it because I don't know if I would have dared uh, to, to start a new project just without any pressure and you know because it needs it like you need a lot of courage as well to like give give yourself into something like that and go out and so on and um yeah so um so that was it and then i had this story in mind and um that because i really enjoy playing musicals as well singing musicals musical song musical theater songs <laughs> and um so basically i really wanted to build a story around this whole concept um because i love fantasy worlds i love stories i love musical theaters and it helps me to compose songs because uh i it helps me when i have a situation and i can 
imagine myself what's going on there how does it look you know i work a lot with pictures and um so this inspires me a lot so i had this rough story in mind and i told the guys and and everybody really was totally in for that to like have this story like this world around our music um so on so we developed everything um especially also with tamara um mm -hmm. and she She's my best friend and she uh, works for a Swiss promoter, so she she knows, you know, mm -hmm. and um, so she's taking over the, the the roles of like what a label would do, what a manager would do and so on. But we still keep everything in the Illumishade core, like mm -hmm. she, she's like our sixth band member in the background, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, and so uh, that was she helped a lot to develop it and uh, now we are working with a concept writer together because it was too much for everything because when it's a when you have a do-it-yourself project and also otherwise it's anyway a lot of work but it's mm -hmm. it's so many new challenges you have to face and so on and it's very nice to have the support of tamara and now also the concept writer so we work all together and now we will also reveal more and more uh, and now it also helps me like I have so many ideas for the next album <laughs> and the guys as well. So I think we will never like not have any <laughs> inspiration because this world offers a lot like. Yeah. Yeah. So it helps me a lot. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> well, nice, nice to know. Like it's it's so interesting because you mentioned the world, the word world, because you guys literally created, you know, a different realm, a different world uh, for your fans to, you know, kind of enter, you know, uh, with all the tribes and things like that. So the thing that I really wanted to ask is the type of energy that this um, band intends to send out. So because the main tagline is learn what is before you teach what is gifted to you value what has been earned unite all new horizons so what made you decide that this is the main line for the band well it's um we also like try to do it for every tribe like mm -hmm. uh, a, a sentence like more or less and um we want to create the world where you know, with positive, uh, positive energy, um, everybody should feel comfortable, can dive in and feel at home and can relate to it. Um, and these, these lines were just like unite all new horizons in the end. Uh, you belong to a tribe, but we are all together in the Ulumi Shade world and we want to have a community. We want inter interactivity. We want everybody to be part of Ilumi Shade and not uh, we are Illumi Shade and you guys watch the show now but we are all that's why we we did this this tribe quiz so everybody like belongs to the tribe you know yeah. and each each member belongs to a tribe and so on and we did this collective intro because everybody should be part um yeah, yeah so yeah, that's it. Oh, that's a very nice concept so so then it's about every tribe so then the answer is that the tagline is about every tribe being together as one, you know, as a as a race. One world. As a yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, the, the tribe the tribe thing was something I found really interesting. I did it and then... Oh, you did it? What yeah. are you? Uh, I know what I, you are. I guess. I want to guess. Feather. Yes, exactly. You are a feather. <laughs> How? Like, what, what made you say that? I, wait, now. Yeah, I mean... Fevas are very smiley, embracing, um, very kind. Kind, uh, yeah. And I think I think this is you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, and you got it. Got you got it spot on. And then yeah, it's quite accurate actually. This this thing. So I actually kind of had fun doing that. So uh, uh, nice. yeah, this was um, Tama uh, Tamara uh, did the whole quiz. She did everything by herself and it, it works, it works, it fits. And actually we are joking in the band. Now we spend a few days together because we had to practice, of course, and mm. show and so on. And we are now in the band also talking about this is such a feather. You know, like, <laughs> or, ah, the Keshai, huh? cool. Okay, <laughs> it's interesting how people react differently to a certain situation. And it fits like, ah, oh, this is 
Teichai reaction, Seva yeah. reaction, you know, uh, it's so interesting. So uh, it is a lot of fun within the band as well. So we joke about it as well. Like, yeah. I'm sure, <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think because those those tribes are real, I mean, they're not just, uh, I mean, it's fantasy world, but then obviously those values are taken out of real life um, scenarios, you know, those uh, characteristics of a person were taken out of like, you know, real life and not just, you know, uh, imaginary or anything. So I'm sure you'll be able to find like people of different tribes in reality as well that relate to, you know, those tribes that you have. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. And, That's the goal. And, and mm -hmm. it's amazingly accurate that <laughs> that thing I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Well, so we've spoken about the concept um, of the band. So it's a fantasy world, very conceptual. And so it, it is very interesting to hear about how, um, you know, you guys um, created this realm. So and to include everyone instead of just saying you guys are Illumishate and then you guys are the fans. Um, so it's very interesting how you guys um, make your fans feel as if they are a part of the band and part of the family. And I think that's so important because everyone wants to feel that wants to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves and i think illumi shade has done um extraordinary extraordinarily well when it comes to including other people so um thank you so much for this concept actually yeah thank you thank you for being part <laughs> fellow feva <laughs> more than happy more than happy too um well okay so we've spoken about the concept so maybe we can talk a bit about you know the the techniques behind how you write um, lyrical technique and also, you know, melody technique. So one of the questions I wanted to ask was that what's your, as a vocalist, what's your thought process when it comes to uh, writing lyrics? Do the, do the melody come first or do you write the lyrics first and then work out the me melody after that? Um, for these songs, it was different um, for almost every song was a little bit different because for sometimes I come up usually when I start a song I come up with a piano the chords and maybe a pattern and and the melody and I yeah a lyric I, I like now I get into writing lyrics I am not like I, I enjoy more creating melodies and chords and so on. So usually I come up with this first. But for example, with um, Illumi Shade now, uh, one song, Jonas just did from scratch everything, even the melody, and then I added the lyrics on top mm. of that. Um, and I was working now uh, for this Illumi Shade album, I was working together with uh, Callum, a uh, friend, and um, He's he's from England, so of course he's native uh, uh, English. So this this helps as well, of course. And um, we work together. I had for every song, uh, I have uh, like a song map, like an idea what's happening in what part of the song, what is the thought behind it, and so on. And uh, we work together to put it into the right words. <laughs> um, sometimes we uh, like. He wrote the chorus, I wrote the verses, and so, you know, uh, exactly. So I think um, I, we just, like, tried out different stuff, and it worked out for every song the way we did it somehow. Um, but usually it was melody first, uh, okay. and then the lyrics, yeah. 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 I, think, I think that makes a lot of sense as well, because um, what happens to a lot of, I mean, we've heard some vocalists, um, you know, having to go through the pain of taking out words that they really like because they don't fit in the melody. So if your like typical method is to do the melody first and then write the yeah. words, then you won't really have that problem because you have like, you know, the fixed amount of syllables and things like that, that you know, you know, you have. So you won't have to yeah, go yeah. through that pain of removing words that you really love. Yeah, sometimes it's just, ah. Uh... Like, but also when you have the melody first and you need to add lyrics and you find lyrics that fit, but the vowel doesn't fit. For mm. example, if you have a long high note, mm -hmm. also, I, I hate, also, no, hate is a strong word. I don't like <laughs> sing it on E, like mm -hmm. here, no, no, just no, just use <laughs> a different word. But if here would fit perfectly, it's just, it's a pain, like, ah, oh, then you, <laughs> 
you know, but in the end it needs to sound or I want to sound it, that, that it sounds good and then we need to change like the, the words anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's a pain anyway. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Well, I guess it's, it's difficult either way. It just depends on, you know, um, different situations have different challenges. Exactly, exactly. And we tried out so pre pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so then when, as you guys track the songs, when you record the songs, do you find yourself still making tweaks to like, let's say the melody or the lyrics? Tweaks? Like as in changes or amendments, like, you know, do you, uh, yeah. Uh, you mean when we played it live now? or uh, No, like when you recorded the song. Uh, so when you start to track a song and you've got all the lyrics ready, you've got all the melody ready. Do you, yeah. Does it happen sometimes where you record halfway and then you think, no, I think the melody should actually uh, be like that, you know? Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, uh, so sometimes, um, for example, on one song, uh, the verse, uh we changed like just a, a small part we changed just w while recording while being in the studio um and of course like ad libs and you know mm -hmm. improvisation parts sometimes by the end of the song or something like that um like this rise when i did this when i tried to sing this high note mm -hmm. uh, that was spontaneously in the studio because i was like i don't know yet what 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 to do let's just record a few takes and we will see you know and uh, to keep an open mind, um, but we try to make the songs more or less ready, so more or less like they are settled um, uh, with pre-productions and so on. Um, but of course, always being flexible is, uh, I think, a very good thing uh, in the studio and to be open. Also now when I was recording with Tommy Fetterly, he also maybe has, has an idea and says, hey, why not trying this, trying that, and then just trying out and then picking the best. Okay, well, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And I think speaking of that high note that you were talking about, I think it was filmed in one of the documentaries or something like that. I forgot where I saw it, but then <laughs> I think there was, is it that one you're talking about? Well, uh, you, yeah, it was filmed, you were sitting on in front of the computer and then like you were just going for the high notes. And I can't remember. Could be. <laughs> yeah, I can't I, remember. I, yeah, yeah, I, I just love trying it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that one as well. So it was yeah. it was, was kind of cool to watch that bit as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so then like when it comes to you know tracking songs and you know um, prior to releasing every song, how do you guys know that you know the song is done and complete and no further changes will be made? When does it feel ready for you? Well, it was certainly not ready when we entered the studio. <laughs> no, I mean, um, I think in the studio, the songs developed a lot uh, still. Um, it was a very new experience to me um, to go to the studio with Illumi Shade because when I when I entered studio with Elvati, um, it's very like it was also spontaneous sometimes, but um, I have Kriki to guide me. Um, the the tracks are ready and so on and now this is stuff that i have to like we we as a band have to co coordinate and it was the first time for me that i didn't have guidance from kriggy as well vocal wise as well um so it was a challenge and i think especially also jonas i think he tried on the go with his solos and so on he just did it in the studio i think i it is a superpower to be very creative in under pressure uh, mm -hmm. and uh, like bring the best out of him uh, under pressure. I mean, some just shut down. I, for me, it's, yeah, it depends on the situation, how I feel. Sometimes I think I can do even better than just being at home, but sometimes I just shut down as well. Yeah, it depends. Um, but this, definitely the songs developed a lot until the very end, like before mixing, like, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was madness and I love it. <laughs> so, so then like before you guys head to the mix, what, um, how, what did the songs make you feel to say, I mean, um, what was it about the songs that made you feel that, okay, it's, this is going out to the public and we won't make any more changes or additions to it already? Because obviously when it comes to creative arts, you yeah. can always stack more and more and change more and yeah. more. So for you guys, what was it that said, 
you know, this is it. Or was it because of the timeline and then you were like, yeah. okay, this has to go. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I think the deadlines. <laughs> Otherwise, you could go on forever, forever, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think, of course, it was a time pressure. Like, hey, this is it now. We can let it go. But of course, it it, it was, it, it, I think, I think we're happy with all the songs, how they turned out and we are uh, like proud of everything and um, yeah, I don't know if we would have worked on for a month or two, I wonder what would have happened still. But of course, at, we just had the deadline, hey, then it's the end. So we just did everything, everything until then and all the songs reached the, the, the level where we were like, okay, we can let them go now and give them to the, to the mixing. Okay, well, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. And uh, I mean, it has to be done professionally as well, because obviously as artists, you can be very creative, but then some people tend to be too much of an artist that they ignore deadlines and which isn't very professional. <laughs> yes, well, in some ways, yeah. you know, so, uh, so congratulations on me meeting your deadline and, you know, <laughs> successfully you. <laughs> launching everything on time. Um, it, it is, but, you know, having asked that question, it is uh, an, an amazing album and I enjoy uh, every second of the album and it's very, very well done, I must say. Thank you. Thank really you so fun. much. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for thanks for you know um, sharing uh, um, all that about Illumi Shade. So we've got like two more questions to wrap wrap up yeah. because obviously you know I, I I want to try to make sure that you get enough rest before you do the yeah, corona, corona Corona talk, talk you know. So yeah. or maybe have some dinner before that. Okay. So uh, so the second last question I wanted to ask is that. Um, do you remember anyone else's advice, you know, whether it's recently or in the past, that really helped you through your musical journey? Whether it's your friend or your, mu your music teacher, do you remember any specific one? Specific tip? Mm. Yeah. That completely changed your life. Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe not a specific, specific now just spontaneous but w when you ask this question what comes to my mind are um my are my my singing teachers i had during these these years like i have especially two singing teachers that really really uh guided me so much uh through different states uh you know it's always up and down and you know with the voice and like learning to accept your voice how how i sound and so on i mean that was all a journey and it's still a journey <laughs> and um just like this uh like one teacher also said me hey this is you and be proud of how you sound because for example i when I was younger, I always wanted to have this round, dark soul voice. And I mean, I have pretty much the opposite, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, yeah, but I needed to learn to love it because it's, yeah, okay. It's, it's not, it's not a dark, round, warm voice, but it's, it's a, it's a bright, clear voice. And it's also, it's, that's okay as well. <laughs> and just stuff like that, just like the support I got over the years from them to believe, believe in myself as well to, um, and accept what it is and learn to like it and, and so on, um, really helped me because when I was a teenager, I really struggled a lot. And I was like, no, uh, but I love to sing, but why do I have this voice and so on? It's a journey and I'm still, uh, learning, um, to handle this, but it's so much better. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a journey until forever for me. <laughs> and yeah. that's, that's okay because this is also how you progress and yeah. so on. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And I'm sure one way or another, you know, that piece of advice um, led to, you know, um, you being an established musician right now. And um, so it's so important to kind of accept who you are and your different talents, because obviously as mu musicians, we sometimes aspire to be like another musician. And then you, you start the question, mm, am I good enough? And things like, why don't I sound like the other person? And, and 
it's such a strong that's it's such a good point that you made that you know you should learn how to love yourself for you know yeah. whatever yeah. you are and then because you, all of us are unique in our own way exactly. so that's a very strong message there so so now that that advice has led you to the established musician you are today what would your your own personal advice be to anyone who wishes to follow your music you know your footsteps when it comes to your musical journey <sighs> advice ah advice yeah you know maybe just i think prep talk is good like you know uh <laughs> like um if 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 so somebody would would ask me i would just say hey believe in yourself and so on and so on you know like <laughs> um but um i think because this person we all we and i am i'm on the journey as crazy like it's so ups and downs all the time but really believing in yourself and and that we are unique and i i will never sound like like florianson or whitney houston or you know and learning to like okay this is okay i do my own journey for, for me th this was probably the most the hard like very hard part and if this person maybe also struggles with the same. Maybe it helps to tell them this. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. So, so I mean, again, as much as you know, we would like to receive like that pep talk. I think it's it's good that we often you know pat each other on the shoulders and said you know you've got this and yeah. you, know, you, yeah. you know it just gives anyone the world of confidence and the motivation to keep pushing, doesn't it? Yeah, and maybe also like taking the challenge like like for for me when i when elvati i was like no no way no way i cannot handle it but then i was like hey this is this is cool let's get some feedback from them and so on and you know stepping out of the comfort zone slowly like and um if if you get a challenge and you feel like you cannot handle it maybe just do it anyway because <laughs> what can happen <laughs> i don't know but it depends on the situation but you know what <laughs> i mean uh, <laughs> yeah. um yeah so just okay then you fall into the cold water but you will learn to swim <laughs> kind of <laughs> yeah yeah that's true well i yeah. mean if you don't drown you'll learn how to be like a very good swimmer then <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah, because i think life is unique in such a way that you know there's no not really much time for us to regret what we didn't do and often I think we regret the things that we did, didn't do more than, you know, the mm. things that we, we've actually chosen to do. So yeah. you, you make a very good point and you say when you said that, you know, when a challenge comes, just accept it. And obviously you have to kind of think about it a little bit, but then, you know, obviously it takes a lot of bravery and guts to actually make the decision yes. to do it. Yeah. So, and if not for your courage to take on, you know, the task of being uh, one of uh, Elu's um, vocalists, I think you would, you know, you, I'm sure you would still be a phenomenal musician, but then that's like, uh, that's something that we don't know. But what we know now is that the fact that you said yes to that request brought you to where you are today. And, yeah. and I'm sure a lot of fans are very happy that you said yes. You know? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, trust me, trust me. I'm sure I'm sure that <laughs> is the truth. So yeah. Well, thank you so so much for sharing, you know, your thoughts and your processes and also your advice, um, you know, for people who are aspiring to follow your footsteps the way you did it. So um, obviously with that, you know, I'm a bit sad, but then this draws us to the, you know, <laughs> the end of our end of our chat today. So um, thank you once again for spending the time um, to do this today. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Well, well I hope you had fun, as much fun I as did. I did. I and did, yeah, yeah, so I, I hope to, you know, have the privilege to watch you guys live again, whether it's with Elevati or with Il Illumi yeah. Shade. So um, hopefully, yeah, maybe we could do like a live interview or something with the next time you guys are in London or something. You ah, know? Let's so, see. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. 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 Hit me up. I yeah. try to see it on Instagram. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so so we'll see. I mean, uh, yeah, I'll I'll definitely drop your text and then we'll see if it works out. Yeah, you know? that would be great. Hey, thank okay. you so so much. Thank All right. you. All right. Thank you so much for the great music.
music. Thank you so much for your time. Take care and be safe. We'll <laughs> yeah. stay in touch. Hey, thank you and good night, I guess. <laughs> yes, it's time for yes. me. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right. Take, hey, care. take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>